Hi guys, hope you're well. This is going to be the first update on one of the tactical squads that I'm doing for the Help for Heroes charity Salamanders Army. Um, I'm midway through building this squad. I've got quite a bit of stuff to do to them, but I just thought I'd show you where I got up to, some of the conversions, some of the different poses and things that I've done for this squad. There's a couple of bog standard sort of marines that are, uh, that are essentially the way that they are. Some of these are donated models, so a big shout out is going to come to the people that have helped me out with the, getting the parts and things for these models. Um, so I just really run through very quickly um, sort of the squad itself 10 man tax squad is going to be loaded out of this sort of bog standard sort of loadout so we've got like a heavy we've got a flamer in there we've got a missile launcher sergeant with the pl uh, plasma pistol and a chainsaw or, or a viscerator but i've modeled it as an eviscerator but it's probably just going to be used as a chainsaw um and then a couple of bog standard marines some nice little conversions that i've tried to do and pinnings just to do uh, something a little bit different give them a little more character but we'll just take a quick run round, have a look at a few of them so we'll start with the sergeant so the sergeant as uh, as you can see is in a dynamic pose as you can see what i've done is i've actually pinned him so he's got the arms pinned in quite a sort of wide sort of swinging stance that's what i tried to do with him uh, the green stuff's going to go in the gaps in the arms and then be obviously uh, sculpted just to resemble the plastic armour that you see when the marines actually stretch. So it's going to be similar to the stuff that's in the uh, in the gap here between the back of the leg. Uh, what I've done with this with a chainsaw, I thought it'd be quite funny to arm him with an with a, an eviscerator. It's quite easy to do. Um, this one's actually one of the better ones that I've made. It's very straight. You can't see the join that well when they, once it's painted. It's all filed flat and smooth. It's actually been pinned, so there is actually a pin going in between this chainsaw. It's quite time consuming, but really nice conversion once you've actually done it uh, lining up the teeth is probably the hardest bit when you actually do that um, I'll probably do a video just showing you how to do that I might do a tutorial on it on sort of weapons and things I've got a few different types of conversions of weapons that I want to show you guys so that'll be coming up in the future so keep an eye out for that and uh, that's the sergeant as you can see plenty of gubbins so pistol uh, is still in the uh, in the holster uh, a couple of like sort of like packs just so he can hold some like rounds and things like that a little bit of detail in the backpack just to make him stand out as a sergeant i haven't mounted him on a big base like i do with all my armies but uh, but that's what i've done with him uh, next model in the squad I think is quite funny uh, or good or in the sense of it poses different is the flamer. The flamer itself on this one is actually from a land speeder. What I've done as you can see is I've just made it so he's wielding it with one hand. Normally the grab handle on the back here is actually joined on this side but I've cut it out to look more like an actual grab handle rather than just a handle that you see on the land speeder kit. It's a little bit delicate but it should be okay. Um, obviously as you can see it's painted already because it's come from a kit that I've just sort of took apart um, and then what I've done on the back I've given him like a it looks like it's come from a melter but I couldn't have any I didn't have anything else which would look like a fuel tank and then I've just sort of like put it onto the backpack uh, the fuel line is just some guitar wire very easy to do it cuts nice and, and straight and then also bends very easily so it's a perfect perfect use for sort of fuel lines um, I'll be doing some videos about that in the future as well just uh, there's loads of things I want to show you little tips and things that I use not not to show off but just things that, I'm, that other people might find helpful in the future so that's this guy I'm going to be putting a grenade or maybe in all specs uh, in this hand I'm not too sure yet let me know what you think I should put in the hand um, there is already an all specs wielding marine in this squad so it probably won't be that but, uh, but let me know what you think either way so that's the flamer um, some nice little details that I've done this guy um, as you can see I've given him a, a, a massive, massive sort of a, a sword not sword like a knife it's actually come from a scout kit I just wanted a, a marine to be wielding a proper size knife it's actually a chainsaw arm and I've cut the chainsaw off and then replaced it with a knife blade couldn't pin this because it's a little, too, little bit too thin to actually pin that otherwise I would have done so hopefully the super glue will hold it and it won't get broken um, and I've filed off the air intake on top of his head I just think it gives him a, a, the marine sort of head a little bit more of an aggressive look um, and I might even do some fine detailing with some green stuff to give him a kind of like a salamander hide sort of skin helmet I don't know yet we'll see how that goes so let me know your thoughts on that Bog standard missile launcher guys, you can see. Uh, a couple of guys that are just wielding bolters. They haven't got any heads or anything yet. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I just wanted to update you. Um, a lot of the parts from this for this squad and a lot of bits and bobs that I've used for this squad have actually come from a guy called Peter Ashworth. Um, this is a shout out to him. So massive thank you, Peter, for actually donating all those parts to me. You really help out with the assault squad and this squad and also the command squad that I'm building for the Salamanders. Uh, so big thank you, Peter. Um, there's some other people that are going to be do donated stuff to me and I'll be putting them up in other videos as well. But but thank you ever so much. Um, another guy in the squad uh, is just a bog standard marine. I've actually given him a bolter and also a bolt pistol. Uh, I actually managed to get the guy to have full Mark um, Mark IV armour in the sense of his legs, body and also arms. Uh, or one of the arms should I say. And then I've obviously given him a Mark VI Corvus helmet. Just to sh really, really throw in a little bit of detail. Make him stand out. Make every marine in the squad a character. Um, as you can see, pin this arm on in a more dynamic pose. Make him look like he's shooting. 
um, with a pistol and probably maybe these bolters run out or something. I don't know. Uh, I like gunslinging. I think it's quite funny when, when Marines have got two pistols or two guns or something, but it doesn't look over the top. doesn't look too much with a pistol firing rather than the bolter. Going to green stuff the plastic armor in the, in the joint, as you can see. So that's what's going to be done on this guy. And this guy, once you put a bolter in his uh, in his hands, what it actually looks like is as if he's actually slamming a new clip into the bolt gun. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to put the bolter in. It looks, if it stays, it looks like he's actually putting a new round, a new magazine into the bolter. I didn't want the magazine in the hand because it just doesn't grip it very well. But like that, it looks like he's actually going to be putting the new magazine into the bolter, getting ready to fire. So that's what I've done with him. And then I've got an all specs guy, just because you don't really see a lot of all specs in squads. And I thought it'd be quite nice just to have someone sort of scanning and looking where he's going. And looking for targets and things so that's that squad in a nutshell it needs a bit of work some of these models have been you know um detailed some of them haven't um, and that's where this squad is up to going to be adding a lot of detail with green stuff probably on this on this uh, squad itself let me know what you think in the comments below if you think that you, i should do something different if you think i should add things or convert different things let me know positive and negative feedback is always appreciated uh, so don't feel like you have to you know be totally positive you just feel free to you know explain what your thoughts are um i hope you like the video please comment please like and as always guys please subscribe to the channel because i appreciate it ever so much and it really helps me out look after yourselves have a good evening take care see you later bye bye